Hello and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe. Today's video is about a question I saw recently on Reddit when I was going to post last week's video. And it was, why is iron and steel more valued than gold and silver in Crin in the post-cataclysm world? And the answer to that question is that in a world like Crin, in particular on the continent of Ancelon, you have, it's a very violent period after the cataclysm, and it's essentially a post-apocalyptic fantasy world. It's iron and steel that have the most value, and you can always melt down the coins that you collect and make armor or a sword, thus be able to venture out. Or you can take a rusted sword and turn it into some coin so that way your pocket is full again the trouble with gold is that for one thing it's a very rare metal by the time of the war of the lance for another thing it's a material that i imagine has lost some of the value as gold like most currencies only has as much value as we believe it to have and if we don't believe gold to have any value as is the case in the post cataclysm world of ancelon it has no value then when you go to read the classical era of Dragonlance, you'll find that most of the characters don't seem to place too much value on gold, really. They hardly take notice of it. Whereas iron and steel always attracts the eye of the characters and are frequently held in higher regard, especially by the warriors. As, like I said, it can be melted down and reforged into more valuable products than gold can. What is more is that most of the gold and silver in the world are probably held in the mountains inhabited by the mountain dwarves who hoard a great deal of it but on the other hand even they recognize it doesn't have too much value to the outside world so most of the gold and silver is concentrated in one location they end up using when they're trading with the outside world more iron and steel recognizing that the outside world has changed from 300 years before well that much is obvious but i can't help but imagine that the dwarves probably trade between themselves gold and silver where and when necessary in that their kings probably dress themselves in the finery which includes gold but they'd probably be the only ones with the material wealth which is one reason why the hill dwarves have such envy towards them and the hill dwarves are probably some of the finest blacksmiths of iron and steel by the time of the war of the lance what is more is that you must be wondering where are all the iron deposits that allow for iron and steel to be mined well it's very likely that the salamnics and the Urgothian and even the Narakan regions have they have mountains and that they have mineral deposits in those locations the trouble is they don't really have the means by which to lay claim to them at least not until some time before the war of the lance with that said it's very likely that Ariakas used slaves to mostly mine for iron and steel with which he could forge weapons and arm his armies and he did mint his own coins therefore given that he was minting his own coins this suggests that he did have his own iron deposits the salamnics did have some but they were an impoverished order by the time of the war of the lance which suggests that as they don't practice slavery they don't really have anyone to work their mines as naraka did as for thorbarden it is very likely that the dwarves mined much themselves and as stated they hoarded much of their wealth but that wealth is probably meaningless to a large extent given that gold and silver no longer has any real value for Alcrin. So I hope this video has been rather educational for you. I think that the moral lesson to be pulled from this is that true value lies not in material objects or metals, but rather in the bonds we forge between ourselves and those around us. And I hope you tune in next week as the next Dragonlance video is going to be about my favorite of the great houses of Kryn, the Qualanesti House of Kifkanan. So until next time, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button like your sky trying to smash Sturm on the High Claris Tower to pieces.